Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another review. Today I'm going to talk about a fragrance from a house which is, which is a British house and it's a beautiful story. The fragrance is called Pegel Bay and the house is called Hakels. Now Hakels is based out of Margate, Kent, south of England, in case you didn't know. And Margate is basically a Victorian seaside resort, very famous, um, slightly out of fashion nowadays because people don't like to visit such places because it reminds them of the old times. It used to be very popular in the 50s and even before that. But I've been to Margate and Margate is basically very popular in Britain because of a very popular sitcom and uh, it's known for the Jolly Boys outing. If you have watched the comedy series only Fools and Horses, you'll know this. It's a lovely, lovely series. That was a great episode. Absolutely would love to know your views about that episode. Now, <clears throat> we're talking about Pegwell Bay. Pegwell Bay, let's talk about Hakels as a brand. So, Hakels as a brand was created by a gentleman called Dom Bridges. He used to work in the city, in London. He got disillusioned with that uh, job and he moved to Margate, Kent where he started working as a volunteer beach warden. Quite a career change. Now during that time he used to deal with all the stuff that the sea brings in, especially the seaweed, and just inspired by the whole local surrounding, he decided to create a, a cosmetics brand in his own kitchen. So he started with beauty products and then perfumes. And I must say, if he's a self-made perfumer, he must be a genius because this fragrance is extraordinarily beautiful. Pegel Bay, this was actually sent to me by Hakels back in 2018 and it was just sitting there. I used to enjoy this fragrance, but somehow I never got around reviewing it. But I tell you what, I absolutely love this fragrance. It's a stunning fragrance. Already sprayed this fragrance, so I'm not gonna waste a spray. But I'll tell you how it starts off. It starts off like a very beautiful citrus fragrance, which is slightly resinous, sweet and sour, with a lot of fresh, zesty spices. And it's inspired by Pegwell Bay. Pegwell Bay has a salt marsh. What grows in salt marsh? A lot of fennel. And this one has a top note of caraway, and along with that, star anise ice. Spectacular star anise. I really like the smell of star anise. And you get a beautiful star anise, but it's just covered up by a fantastic bitter orange, which is very resinous. I don't know how he's done it. It's very resinous. And it's supported by a beautiful note of mint. It doesn't smell like toothpaste at all. So all that fennel smell mixed with bitter orange, which is resinous, sweet and sour resinous with mint and juniper berries. So very fizzy and bright and sunny and beautiful. This fragrance, the opening is stunning and smells natural and it reminds me of a very, very special fragrance. French Lover by Frederick Ma. No jokes. So the mid stages of French Lover is where Pegwell Bay starts. I was stunned. And that's why I like it because French Lover is one of my uh, holy grail fragrances. I can't get, get enough of it. And some people don't like the opening of French Lover. So this one is in the middle stage. Mid middle stage of French Lover is most beautiful, gloriously spectacular. This is where it starts. If you can imagine my joy, love it. The green spicy citruses is the backbone of the fragrance. When the fragrance dries down, it becomes a little bit more musky vetiver -y which is quite um, expected. I don't think the fragrance has a middle. It goes into a dry down very late, very slow development. It has this musky vetiver along with patchouli. Very nice, earthy, spicy, a little bit, but stays that lemony, bitter orange with fizziness, with a little bit of spicy edge to it. It stays throughout the fragrance, which I really enjoy. So let me show you a picture and the fragrance is exactly like this picture. It's got salty sea elements. It's got 
the golden sunny elements it cause it's got that green vegetable side or greenness to it um, that you would get in nature is just a very special green spicy orangey minty fragrance just amazing absolutely stunning right so pros and cons if you like citrusy fragrances that you can wear all around the season or in every season you got a very nice fragrance that works in every season i've tried in summer spring autumn winter it never ceases to impress me it's a very impressive fragrance number two if you're looking for a real impressive statement maker which smells really nice natural but also is very elegant and masterfully created high quality those are the upsides you know? high quality very beautiful composition i cannot believe that this has not been done by a master perfumer i cannot believe it. yeah I, I don bridges if he's done it himself hats off to him because this is special this is special fragrance this is special talent you know the, the fragrance also has a very peppery edge to it so salty pepper very nice so those are the upsides another upside would be the value for money the fragrance is smells so natural and such high quality and you have to pay for 100 ml you pay 150 for this is 7.5 ml so you pay about 15 quid for this 15 pounds for such a high quality uh, great smelling fragrance is a bargain so value for money is tremendous so those are the upsides now the downsides. The opening of the fragrance is such that you don't expect it if uh, in designer fragrances. So it can stun you. All I would like to tell you is test it on your skin. Let's sit on your skin for a few minutes, you know, 10, 15 minutes, just when you're trying to judge it and then decide. Fragrance is absolutely stunning, right? Now, any other downsides? If you don't like citrus fragrances, stay away because this is a citrus centric fragrance. It, this is also very strong citrus. So if you have some problems with sharp smelling, because there's a lavender note here, which is quite sharp, but it's not lavender lavender, it's lavender mixed with citrus. So it's quite sharp. So if those things are bothersome to you, don't worry about this one because there are many other from Haeckel's which I'll be reviewing. So that's probably one thing you can avoid. Um, Performance, stunning performance. This thing projects a lot when it's a high heat, but it stops projecting and it's basically a closed skin scent in about half an hour when the weather isn't too hot, but the longevity is phenomenal. You absolutely easily, you're gonna get more than eight hours. So on your shirt, it doesn't project, but it'll stay on your shirt for more than 10 hours, easily probably a day. Um, Performance is a non-issue on this one. Sillage also is medium, so low to medium. But the moment you start walking or when you're working around stuff, working around, uh, you know, when you're working hard, let's say, that's when you start to smell this fragrance, if you're wearing it under your shirt. It needs heat to, you know, reveal its beauty, if you like. Uh, compliment factor definitely very high this is a fantastic composition it smells wonderful composition factor sorry compliment factor is a no-brainer for me if a lady smells you she definitely going to um, compliment you on your taste and the quality and the smell the smell is amazing this fragrance smells amazing so seasons all seasons every single season works so I've tried it trust me I've had it for more than three years Every single season works for this fragrance. Uh, I think I've covered all aspects, haven't I? So value for money high, fragrance smells amazing, quality is stunning. This fragrance is a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. And I'm telling you, if you don't want to buy the full bottle, just try this 7.5 ml, which is quite affordable. You'll be blown away by the fragrance. This is a proper 10 out of 10 fragrance, amazing fragrance. And I'm not just saying that because it's a British brand, but I'm really happy to say this because it is a British brand. So 10 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.